Hey everyone, welcome to our newest unboxing video. I am Rav1 as always, and this is... Mama C. Hey, uh, today is... What's today? It's Tuesday, January 14th we're filming this video. Mm -hmm. This video probably will not be released though until probably like the first or second week of February. So we're filming it way early um, mm -hmm. just because of, uh, you know, how many videos we still have in the can we have to edit still. Um, but we want to get our newest box uh, um, box and opened up and get everything posted online. Uh, this box is a little bit different than boxes we've done in the past, though. Yes. You guys are used to us doing toy unboxings. This one is mainly all books and movies. So, but for kids. Yeah, mainly a lot of kids' books in here. Yeah. The movies may not be for kids. And there actually are a couple of video games in this one that I know of, too, which is pretty neat. So, um, I know I said that in the previous videos this year we're going to do some math. So, everyone knows we paid $129 for this box, including shipping. If everything was new in this box, yes. it has a retail value of eight hundred and fifty-two dollars. Oh my gosh! Right, so this is literally the highest retail value box that we've opened, um, and there are sixty-four things in there. So pay one hundred twenty-nine, sixty-four. Yeah. Everything equals out to be two dollars and two cents per item. So for us to make a profit on this box, we just have to sell everything for more than two dollars and two cents. And I can tell you that movies, video games are definitely going to sell yes. for that. Um, they should actually pay for the entire box, and then all the books that we sell are probably just going to be extra profit on top of it. So, mm -hmm. pretty cool. So, yeah. anything you'd like to say before we open it up? I don't know. You don't know? Okay. Yeah. So, what we're going to do is we're going to open the box up. Uh, this next part will be sped up, and then we'll come back, and we'll start showing you what's in the box. Yeah. All right, and we're back. Yes. Um, so, we're going to do this a little bit different. We're not going to spend a lot of time talking about this stuff. No. Um, but because this is unexpected returns, for any of the, the media, like movies or video games, we'll check to make sure that the actual disc is in there. Unfortunately, if you see any unboxing videos on the internet, a lot of times people like to do is they'll buy a video game for the PS4 or the Xbox One, and then they'll put like a PS2 or a original Xbox or Xbox 360 game back in the case and return it and try to get full value. So, sometimes you'll see that, or there might just not be a disc at all. You know, so you take a little bit of a risk that way, but hopefully we'll get uh, all video games in here. Hopefully they won't be cracked or broken. So um, I'm just going to start pulling some stuff out. We'll hand it to Little Missy. If you want to come over, you can come over so you can actually show people. Oh. You can actually reach in. First book we have, and you can see this is from Target, Brandon Sanderson Skyward. Nice paperback book. I mean, this has a $12 retail value on it. Um, you want to pull something out? There. What's this one say? So this is a Kingdom of I. Ash? Kingdom of Ash, yeah. Yeah. By um, um, Sarah Moss. Oh. So cool. Yeah. Nice. We got a hardcover one here. This one's called Kingdom of Souls. Nice hardcover book. Like this. What do you got? We. I don't know what that says. Reach, Reach for the Sky. Sky. It's S K A I by Sky Jackson. How to inspire, empower, and clap back. All right, I see a game here. I'm going to pull it out. This is PlayStation 4 WWE 2K20. Let's see what we got inside. I do see a disc. It is WWE 2K20, and it is in perfect condition. Yay. So that is awesome. That's great. What that is, is great. What is this? What do you got? You got like a little... Notebook. little blind journal. Oh. Cool. Not, not really. Ah, Happy Hanukkah, Curious George. Very neat. What's that? You want to pull this one out? So this is Warburg AV. Like it has stuff for like, kind of like. Oh, ah, this is a cool one too. See what kind this is? Oh, white clean. White clean. So you use you use this with those um. Uh, dry erase markers. Yeah, actually, I think it actually comes with it in here, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, it actually comes with the dry erase marker right in there. And you can wipe it clean, so it's good for little kids for practicing their letters and their numbers. Yeah. It's a cool book. Those are probably pretty expensive. Yeah, $10 book right there. All right, I'm going to pull this out. Another one of those Kingdom of Ash books. Pretty cool. What do you got? Grimm's Fairy Tales. Grimm's Fairy Tales, yep. <laughs> cool. That doesn't sound very cool. What do I got? I got Mark Zuzik, Bridge of Clay. I got the Storm Runner. The Storm Runner by Cervantes. J.C. Cervantes. Cervantes was a really cool character in Soul Calibur. All right, I got Sherry Lapina, Stranger in the House. Sounds like a book my wife would like. Jojo Moyes. Jojo Moyes, The Peacock Emporium. Cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So apparently this isn't a lot of kids' books. <laughs> Another of that Bridge of Clay book. 
Um, Bad Kitty, Happy Birthday, Bad Kitty. Oh, that's cool. It's a kid book, right? Yes. Yeah. Bad Kitty book. Neat. All right, what do I got here? Watch Over Me by Milla Gray. Oh, look at this one. You know what this is. What is it? Oh, this is Wizard Unite game, guys. Yeah, Harry Potter Wizard Unite. That's a cool mobile game that yeah. I, I play almost every day. And Little Missy has played it before as well. Um, you don't sort play of like that Pokemon, much? Sort of like Pokemon Go. It's one of those virtual reality kind of games where you go around yeah. and search for you know people in the Harry Potter world. But that's pretty cool. And you do stuff. Oh, look at this. What's this? Mad Libs. I like them. Right, it's a giant Mad Libs book. That's pretty neat. What's this thing? Okay, so this looks like a, oh, so it's one of those where you do the markers, but the marker is missing, so if you have, like, a marker, you could use that. Right. If we don't find the marker, that'll be something a little messy just keeps. I have some. All right, this one, the, the book jacket got a little messed up, That's and the back page got a little messed up. Oh, wait. Um, but Five Dark Fates by Kendra Blake. Another reach for the sky. Another reach for the sky. Wow, a lot of stuff in here still. Oh, <laughs> if anyone's a, a fan of uh, Twitch, uh, actually not Twitch anymore, my bad. Scratch that. If you had a mixer, uh, Ninja has gone there. This is a Ninja notebook with stickers. It's got like uh, Ninja quotes in here, it looks like, too. Ninja quotes. Little quotes by Ninja on there. You guys can pause the screen if you want to read what it says. But yeah, it's pretty neat. This is a Stranger in the House book. Another one of those Stranger in the House books. I think that's the second one we got of that. Yeah. All right. Oop, I found another PlayStation 4 game. This one here is Devil May Cry. Five. Let's see what we got. Looks like Devil May Cry 5 in there. And the disc is perfect. Like Blu ray discs. Usually they are. That's nice. Two good. This is another JoJo Moe's book. Another JoJo Moe's book. Yeah. Okay. Got a couple of each of those. This one is a Harlequin book. Melanie Milburn, Cinderella's Scandalous Secret. I got the book Five Dark Fates. Oh, yep, we had that one already. Oh, really? Yeah, second one of that one. I have The Storm Runner by J.C. Cervantes again. I have I'll Love You Till the Cows Come Home. Oh, uh, that's cool. That's a hardcover book. This one's eighteen dollars originally, so that's a pretty big, pretty big book there. That's the same one that Melanie Milburn book. Um, what you got here? You know what that says? Books. Vox. Vox by Christina Dolcher. Hey, why don't you come more over on this side so that way I'm not sure. Hopefully the microphones are picking up the whole time. Um, okay. Put the microphones over that way so that way they can hear you. Okay. All right. We got more. We got another ninja book. Oh, another oh, oh. Harry Potter book. Hold That's on. Off gonna, camera. I want to okay. get something. Okay. What do you want? Oh, okay. I see why you want to this talk about it. This is Home Alone. The DVD. Now, I can tell you the case is pretty messed up on it, so let's see what's in here. Oh, the movie's in here. Let's see what it looks like. Oh, that is in brand new perfect condition. So, um, the case is messed up, so I'll, I know I have extra DVD cases. We'll just change the slip cover in the case, and that'll be something good. I watched the two movies. Cool. Oh, I see a... Oh, look at this. <gasps> what is we that? just watched that. Star Wars Attack of the Clones on Blu-ray. Nice. Pull that, take that off. We'll see what this looks like. Movies in there. There is a code in here. I'm not going to show the code. Oh no! But the movie is bad. So the movie, and that's weird on a Blu-ray disc. The movie looks like it was like. I'm not sure if the camera's going to pick that up. Um, let's see if I can get it to go here. Kind of, kind of see Wait. it. You can pause and look. There it is. Yeah, you can sort yeah. of see it's got like that warping on there and it looks like it's raised actually which is even weirder what's what so, raised mean? like it's like coming off yeah it is okay. so like the it's, you know what it is it's actually the protective coating that's on the back of the blu-ray is actually coming up so that's a little strange it's like thing all yeah. right put that slipcase back on that's bad yeah it's like only our first bad hit out of the box here yeah so, that's good though. all right this one i can tell you this is perfect this is even better than anything we've gotten so far. Resident Evil 2, PS4. 
sealed. Perfectly sealed in there. That's still awesome. Still got some stuff in here. Oh, yeah. Um, I... More of that Stranger in the House book. Two more of those. There's some kids books over there. Like right. it. You can't reach them? Let's just do it this way. We got another this is little, a little notebook. A little journal there. Yeah. What do we got here? This is another the... journal. Yeah. Another, it's a... <laughs> so these are usually called composition books. This one's called a decomposition book. 100% um, post-consumer waste recycled pages printed with soy ink made in the USA. That's interesting. I've never seen anything like that before. Um, that's really, it's actually got some interesting cool pictures on the inside of it. That's kind of cool. I think it's on the back as well. Ooh, yeah. That's pretty so that's like the coolest composition book I think I've ever seen. It's all on recycled pages and made with soy ink, which I've never heard of before. Oh, we got another one of Kingdom of Soul. Oh, no, this is different, right? Did we have this one? We may have Kingdom of Souls, Rena Barker. I don't know. We'll have to check and see. Another Reach for the Sky. Reach for the Sky. Sky Jackson. Wait, wait, wait. I, I want to do that. Okay. You can talk about it. So this is... Aladdin and the Lion King. For which which system? Uh, seven two four. <laughs> PS four, which stands oh. for PlayStation four. Oh, PlayStation four. Sorry. All right, so let's let's check and sorry. see what this looks sorry. like in here. It's got a sticker at the top here, so the the disc is in here, and it's perfect. Yeah, perfect, brand new. Yay. Nice. So so far the video game has been really decent. Oh, the case is a little a little smushed. That's it. It's got a little bit of a smush on the case, but the game works fine. I'm yep. sure, as it's a Blu-ray. Mm -hmm. Oh, this one I can't show because has a clearance sticker on it. But um, I'm sure that's Toy Story 4: The Deluxe Junior Novelization. So it's the book of Toy Story 4, and yeah, it's not even a picture book. I mean, it's literally just all just writing in there. So. That's pretty neat. Oh, I thought it was like a DVD. No, 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 no. That'd be so cool. All right, this one is called Brandon Sanderson Skyward, but I do see that there's something going on back here. Oh, just the page was bent, that's all. So that's easily evened out. Nice. Yep. Yeah. All right. Oop, just don't push the box so much. I'm oh, sorry. Fall all right, you want to talk about this one? What is that? Um, Awesome Dogs. 5,000. 5,000? I don't know what this is. Me oh, neither. It's a book. Oh. It's a book. He's the pet with the turbo jet. Mm, funny. And then we have Map of the Soul version 2 Persona. Um, oh, this is a... Okay. So this is a CD by the band BTS. Um, this is obviously how the CD comes. I didn't realize that. Uh, so I didn't even know this was in this box. I've seen this in other boxes they have all listed. Let's see how that looks. Oh, it's perfectly brand new. So it looks like this was probably have some sort of, normally some sort of like wrap around here. I'll have to play around with that and get that back in better. But yeah, CD's yeah. brand new and it's got some sort of book for it as well. I don't really know who BTS is, so. Okay, so this I'm gonna probably have to open to make sure that it looks good. But this is a, a sealed copy of Hal's um, Moving Castle. Um, this is uh, by Studio Ghibli, or Ghibli, you know, I'm not sure which way it's pronounced, but they're a very big animation studio in Japan. <clears throat> um, pretty sure it's Japan. Uh, I don't want to say things and have you guys comment, be like, what are you talking about? Um, <laughs> but uh, the case on this is just awful back there. You can just sort of see how it's that. So I'm gonna have to, even though it's sealed, which means that this should be fine. I'm probably gonna wind up opening this before we would sell it, just to make sure everything this is fine and replace out the actual CD case. All right, what do we got here? Um, oh. Just Dance 2020. Right, for what system? Uh, I got the P24. PS4. Oh, PS4. PS4, PlayStation 4. All right, let's see, to get this disc is in there. And it is, well, this one looks like it might have been used. There's a couple little things on it, but nothing bad. Definitely nothing that would impede how it plays, but definitely something you can't sell as new, but definitely still working. Yeah. All right. Oh, I think this is our last video game in the box. 
This is for the Nintendo Switch. This is Pokemon Shield. And let's make sure that this is in here. Ah, uh, it is. Pokemon Shield, Nintendo Switch. Yep, definitely in there. That's a good hit. This is a game that I think just came out, actually. So that's a really good hit of that box. And guys, like I said in the beginning of the video, those video games alone are going to pay for this entire box once we resell them. So everything else, you've seen all these books and extra we sell, that's just all profit because of those games that were in there. Really? Mm -hmm. That's why when you're going through and you're sourcing stuff, you really got to do your due diligence and look at it. When they have the manifest like Bolt.com does on there, really look through those manifests fully to see what you're going to get in the box. Um, especially when you're doing the un unexpected returns. So like I said, some of that stuff may not have been in there, but you know, even if half of it was in there, we'd still probably pay for the box. So another one of the Harry Potter Wizards Unites books. Yeah. What else we got? Another Storm Runner book. We got James Rollins Crucible. Pretty neat. That's a really thick book. Yeah. Can I pop one? Yep. Can I do something? We're gonna do Oh look at this. So this is Moana. Pua? Is this Pua? I don't know. P-U-A? Yeah, Pua. Pua and... And... Hi? You, you saw the movie Hi Hi? Is that a Hi? I don't know. Hee Hi Hi? I don't know. I think it's a chicken. We got another one of those blank journals here. There's some stuff on there that I can know. Got another box book. Oh, what's that? Yeah. What's that? What's this? Um, yeah, we'll look at that separate. I'm not sure. What's this? Oh. Bookmark. Yeah, there's five magical bookmarks in there. Uh, the first one says, Always be yourself unless you can be in a unit. Let me start over so I can talk. Always be yourself unless you can be a unicorn, then always be a unicorn. And there's four other cool ones in there. That's pretty neat. A little bookmark set. I like that. What do we got here? Oh, that's pretty neat. See what it is? Oh. We'll tell them. This is a Best Friends Activity book. Right. Best Friends Activity book. Okay. Now this, there's a little... What is well this, that? This one says Chapter 3. No, it's just, it's just another... Yeah. Another notebook. It says Chapter 3 in it for some reason. Um, That's weird. Me? I don't know why. Like so this I can just tell you. Oh, it's another one of those decomposition books. This one is a spiral one, but it's got some cool pictures... Cool pictures on the inside there. Cool pictures on this side too. So uh, this one says no price on. I'll have to do some research and see what these things are worth. I've never yeah. really seen them, but they're they're definitely neat. I mean, we got three items left. I'll you talk about these two, then I'll talk about that. So this says I have have a little pun. Right. Yeah. An illustrated play on words. Probably a funny book. Yeah. Yep. Like. Yeah. Oh. Find your porpoise. Porpoise. <laughs> That's funny. There's a buddy of mine that we. Oh, oh no! What did you do? I knocked a bunch of stuff down. Okay. There's a buddy of mine that we do uh, dad jokes back and forth to each other. He'd appreciate that. He's probably watching the video. All right. Whoa. Is. Homebody. Homebody. I don't know what that By is. By Joanna Gaines. When is that? Oh, Joanna Gaines. She's one of those. Um, uh. She has a show. I can't remember. It's an exclusive edition, it says, too. I can't remember what the show is called. Um, hmm. That's going to drive me up a wall. I'll try to put it in the uh, the video once I figure it out. But, yeah, she has a show. This is a really big book. Um, $40, it says, was brand new. Whoa. So I mean, the, the, the slipcover is a little messed up. It's super heavy. Uh, it'll probably be on eBay for, like, I'm just guessing right now, but probably, like, 10 bucks maybe. Yeah. All right, and then the last, last item. thing. <gasps> Sorry. Oh so my gosh. This is gigantic. Oh my. Learn to play ukulele complete kit. So, all right, you want to sit back down there? Sure, I'll, I'll sit. I'm just going to open this really quick on camera. See I'll if we sit. Show everyone what's in, if it's in here. So, it looks like. There's a box and a box, and oh, there is, and it is sealed still. It's still in its packaging. I like so, that. So, yep, you gotta learn to play the ukulele kit. That's cool. And let me just see also 
get everything in the packaging. Oh yeah, there you get um you get like a book, then you get CDs or DVDs. There's a CD, you get a DVD, and then you get a level one basics. You actually get like the actual. I've seen these kind of books in music stores before. Learn to play ukulele, and the book actually shows the price tag of uh, eleven dollars just on the book. You get a DVD and a CD in there as well. Uh, I'm not really sure what this is worth, but I mean, I'm not sure if it has a price tag somewhere, but it's pretty cool. And it doesn't have a price yeah. tag, so I have to look that up. But that's a uh, that's pretty neat. Yes. So. And that is everything out of this box. Um, as you yeah. can see with Uninspected Returns, again, sometimes, like I said, when you're doing video games, music, and movies, you may not get the disc in there or it may be bad. Like we saw with that Attack of the Clones movie. But most of the time, it's just going to be like the case got crushed a little bit. And if you have DVD cases or CD cases, you can switch out the covers and just put them in, the, in your old one, make that look new. And then you can sell that again, which is pretty awesome. Yeah. So and then all these books, I mean, for the most part, these are all new books. So, you know, you can probably go to Amazon right now, look up this book. Oh, this is a Disney book, actually, The Storm Runner. Hmm. Includes a sneak peek at the Firekeeper. Oh, it's a Rick Riordan presents The Storm Runner. Um, you can look these books up and you'll see them. I mean, you can tell on the back, it's $8 for this book. You know, you go to Amazon right now, it'll be $8. Bucks. Um, I'm sure Target has it for the same price, you know, 20% off sticker. So, you know, for me to sell this, you know, I'm going to probably end up selling these for like 2 bucks a piece, something like that. Uh, so even with shipping, it's only going to cost you like four or five bucks. So, you know, not bad at all. And uh, you get a good deal on it. You get a brand new book for a cheaper price. So that's our first books and movies and video yeah. games box. Uh, we'll probably still do more of these. I, I continue to source these because they're they're definitely, they're good. Um, yeah, they, they, are. Do, they aren't in the site for very long. They usually don't have a lot of them. So you got to be quick and, you know, you know, pull the trigger on buying those quickly if you really do want them. Um, so... You know, hey, as always with all of our videos, yes. you know, if you can, like the video. Like, please. Leave a comment. Now, the yes. comments I know with the new Copa roll rules aren't going through, but if you do leave a comment, it won't show on the video, but I will see it. And so if you leave a comment for Little Miss E, I'll be able to tell her what you said. So we appreciate any comments you got. I know she likes hearing them. Uh, we've gotten yeah. a bunch of comments from you guys out there, so we really appreciate it. And the yes. biggest thing, as always. Please subscribe and it'll be down there so when we're filming this video today we are up to 67 subscribers on youtube little missy has a goal of hitting 100 by the end of january yes. so like i said this video should be out in february and hopefully when i make this video we'll have the good news that we hit the 100 so i'm really hoping that and then her goal for the end of the year is what what's your goal a thousand a thousand by the end of the year so we got 11 more months to hit that so thanks you guys for the support yes. really appreciate it um have a great day anything else from you when it gets close, happy Valentine's Day. Oh, happy Valentine's Day. It might be out actually close to that. So, um, happy Valentine's Day, guys. All right. Yeah. See you, everyone. Bye. Bye.